Hi, this is Alex. I'm going to explain to you my museum of me. As you can see, I've created a model box of my museum and I'm going to explain to you um, what you would see if you went to my museum and the reasons why. So, first of all, as you can see, it's quite a small space. Um, it's a little bit like an art gallery. The reason for this is because I spend a lot of time my myself in art galleries. They're some of my favourite places at art galleries. And I think that it's a good way of capturing um, me and my culture. So we're going to start with the um, artwork which is on the walls. First of all, you can see um, on one wall there's an enormous shape. This is known as a koru. Um, which is a symbol in New Zealand culture. I spent some time in New Zealand and for me the koru is really significant because it represents new beginnings and I've had quite a few new beginnings. On the other side of the room you can see an enormous um, quote which is from Shakespeare's play A Midsummer Night's Dream. This is the final monologue by Puck the Fairy and the monologue speaks about forgiveness and it also talks about dreams. It says, if we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. This to me represents the fact that life is like a dream and it is only temporary. Therefore, I've painted these um, both pieces of these artwork in pencil, which means that they are temporary, they can be taken off. That's quite symbolic for me, because for me, life is always changing. That's part of my small culture, my identity. Um, on the floor, you'll see in the corner, there are lots of stones. This represents the beach where I grew up, Brighton Beach. Um, it's not a sandy beach. It's quite pebbly and if you go into this museum you'll be able to experience these pebbles inside and you'll be able to sit on a deck chair which is a classic um, uh, chair from Brighton Beach and to me the seaside is really important it's where I grew up it's where I go to relax it's where I go to think and I've spent a lot of time um, by the sea and it also holds again quite a spiritual symbolic place in my heart because the sea is constant but it's also always changing. Out of the window, so that's a window there, you can see some birds and it's sunset and there's a place which is called Brighton Pier. So my museum of me would be set uh, on the beach of Brighton and um, visitors would be able to come and go and go outside and sit and watch the sunset and watch the birds if they like or they could sit on the deck chairs inside and just look out of the window for example if it was really um, really raining or cold or windy then they could just sit inside and have a look um, to me, it's really important to look out to nature. I spend a lot of time in nature and I spend a lot of time um, walking, being by the sea, being outside. And again, it relates to the idea of always changing. In the middle of my museum, finally, you can see a tree. Now, this tree is no ordinary tree. This tree will be a memory tree. That means that visitors who come into my museum will be able to write down on a piece of paper memories of their family and they'll be able to attach it to the tree. And the tree will also have memories of my family. My family to me is a whole culture in itself. It, um, it consists of lots of sisters and brothers and my mother and to me, they are the centre of my life. But also, they allow me to grow and flourish. And again, they're always changing. My relationship with my family is always changing. But whereas with most other things, I like to move forward and have some sense of um, change, with my family, I also like to look back and have memories of them all the time. 
So this is my museum of me. It's quite symbolic. It's quite, um, it's, it's not very cluttered. And hopefully the idea is that visitors will go in and they won't just find out about me, but they'll also be able to think about themselves. So they'll be able to connect with the tree in their own way, with the koru in their own way, with the piece of Shakespeare in their own way. Shakespeare, by the way, is um, quite a cultural figure in terms of British history, which is also very close to my heart. Um, also, visitors will just be able to stand or sit and look out at the sea, which is constantly changing, and the birds and the sky and watch the sun go down or watch the sun come up. Oh, my museum of me will be open all day and all night for visitors. Okay, thanks for listening. I hope that you come and visit my museum of me.